Welcome back. As we head into daylight saving weekend, we'll lose an extra hour of sleep as we spring forward tomorrow. Research shows the bad news doesn't stop there. As our bodies adjust, the risk for heart attack and stroke goes up in the first two days following daylight savings. So here to talk about this is Dr. George Rogers. He's a cardiologist with the Seton Heart Institute. Good morning to you. Morning. Well, this is a little bit depressing, but I tell you, the one person excited about this time change is our producer because he gets to work one a fewer hour overnight. Right. <laughs> the rest of us will be uh, will be struggling tomorrow morning. But there is a correlation between daylight saving time and heart attack and stroke. Right. For the first two days after uh, we move the uh, the clock forward, there's about a 20 percent uh, increase in uh, in heart attacks. We know that heart attacks tend to occur uh, more likely to occur first thing in the morning when our system is sort of uh, just trying to wake up mm -hmm. and and uh, that sort of thing and and with uh, morning coming an hour earlier it's even more of an impact to the system so on the Sunday and especially the Monday after daylight saving times there's a slight increase about a 20 percent increase in heart attacks that's interesting is it just the Monday uh, this coming up Monday after that that new time change kicks in or is it all Mondays no, it's just that Monday. Okay. It's just okay. that Monday uh, where we see the impact. Interestingly, in the fall, uh, there's 20% less heart attacks huh. when we get a little bit more sleep. So I guess the take home message is uh, the vulnerable people are people that are going to be at highest risk. Mm -hmm. And if you are vulnerable, you might just sleep in a little bit on Monday. That's what, that was my next question. Should you just sleep one hour later? Wouldn't be a bad idea, especially if you're vulnerable. So people that are at higher risk are people that have had problems before, people that have had heart attacks, people that have had bypass or coronary stents placed, uh, that sort of thing. Okay. So protect yourself. Maybe consider sleeping in an hour mm -hmm. on Monday. Oh, Tuesday, on it's Monday. Not, Tuesday's not much of a problem. Yeah, you heard it from the doctor himself. You've got an excuse for work. <laughs> Doctor's <laughs> if orders. If you need it, if you need it for sure. What about prevention just 24-7 year-round because obviously heart attacks and stroke are an issue all the time? Right. We, we're very passionate about uh, prevention at Seton, and we think that knowing your risk uh, is probably the most important thing. Uh, we have a program where people can screen their hearts with Heart Healthy CT uh, to get an idea of uh, what their risk is. A really uh, great idea for uh, middle-aged people that especially uh, uh, believe that they do have some risk factors. Mm -hmm. And that takes just scheduling a calling and scheduling an appointment. That's right. Yeah. For that. Well, good deal. Well, thank you so much. We are already out of time. We appreciate your time this morning and you all heard it. Sleep in an hour uh, later on Monday morning. That's right. I think we can do that. We can handle that. That's right. <laughs> thank you. Still